In today's video I wanted to make a distressed grungy background of a brick wall on my jelly plate. And the trick for the grungy effect is to build up the layers. So first you have to make a few prints with different techniques before you have built up enough layers on your jelly plate to get the print you want. Hello my beautiful YouTube and internet friends. My channel is all about showing you how you can do your art journaling, mixed media and crafting on a low budget. My name is Ilona, better known on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram and WordPress as Picture for Life. On my channel you will find a lot of easy and free tutorial videos for art journaling and mixed media, as well as a lot of tips and tricks to do your art journaling, mixed media and crafting on a low budget. I'm all about keeping it simple, even if it looks difficult. Trust me, it's not. So if you like to see more low budget, mixed media and art journaling, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell icon so you know when I upload a new video. So I started with my first layer, with a solid color of burnt sienna. I lay my brick stencil on the jelly plate and take a print. I take off my stencil and immediately take a second print. I rub really hard because I want to get most of the paint off with this layer. This gives me actually already a gorgeous print, but I want a more muted background and more grungy. Now you notice that with taking the second print, my paint is pretty dry already. And that is exactly what I need for this technique to work out the way I want it to. The next layer is a light color called clay. It's something between white and gray, but I have far, far, far too much paint on my plate. So I spread it out with my brayer and then roll the paint off on a piece of scrap paper. I need to do that a few times before I have just a thin layer on the plate. Now it's time for a little grunge. I crumple up a piece of thin scrap paper and create marks in the paint layer. I also want to create a window on my page. And to achieve that, I cut out a rectangle and lay it onto the jelly plate before I take my print. And again, I rub pretty hard to get a good connection between the plate and the paper, transferring all those gorgeous layers from the jelly plate onto my paper. And whoa, what a gorgeous print I get. All the grungy layers. Now that is the old brick wall look I was going for. My window piece is completely white and it's too stark for my liking. So I repeat the last step with the paint and the crumpled paper and lay my printed paper on top of my plate again, trying to line it up as best as I can. Now my background is finished and I can start on making my art journal page. The print that I take can of course be used for other projects. You can use them to tear up and glue pieces onto an art journal page or you can use them again to take another print over the top of the one you already made. The theme for this page is magic, fairy tales and rooftops. I also needed to have triangles on the page. The fairy tale I had in mind is Rapunzel. So I wanted to make a tall skinny tower on the page and some other houses. On a piece of book paper I freehand draw some buildings and with a triangle shaped ink pad I made some prints to cut out later and use as roof rooftops. Now I need the hair of Rapunzel to dangle down from the tower window. I take some wool and I turn it into a braid. The next step is to start gluing my houses and rooftops down.
and make a slit in the window of the tower and slip the braid through there. For the final finishing touches, I create a cloudy sky by just using one stamp in different ways, using, also using a masking technique to get the job done. And then I make some black lines on the window part and around the houses as well as on the border and around the whole page to give the page a finished look. And that's when I call my Archimbold page done. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful and creative day. And I hope to see you back next week for a new free tutorial video. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you will be notified when my new video is up. Bye bye!